All right, so this is just a short video uh, demonstration of the Ghostbusters Proton Pack that I put together. Um, so as you can see, it is the Spirit Halloween shell. Um, I What I did is I completely took it apart, cleaned it up, took original electronics out, and I uh, repainted it with uh, a high quality paints, uh, in this case black and silver. So black was used for all the main uh, color or all the main shell. And then the silver was used for uh, different parts like this bracket over here, um, this one over here, uh, the weathering, as you can see, there's a weathering uh, effect applied on it. And uh, then what I did, I applied uh, custom parts uh, that I either ordered from eBay or from various sites. Uh, also metallic stickers. Uh, so for instance, you have over here, over here, 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 uh, here, a lot of stickers. Um, so on the top as well, right there, and as well as on the bottom. Uh, then I applied electronics, a soundboard, as well as the spirit light over here. Uh, everything is customizable. Uh, the speaker is located right, uh, actually this is the original speaker hole or position of the spirit Halloween, but uh, I put a bigger speaker inside and you can put your own as well. I put the biggest I had, you know, uh, available. So it's pretty loud, but you can always uh, crank it up and, uh, you know, put your own over there. Uh, so, uh, yeah, there's a soundboard with various uh, sound effects as well as you can plug in your uh, MP3 player and play music through the speaker along with the uh, uh, sounds as well. Um, yeah, so you can see custom ribbon cable right here, uh, clamp, all kinds of uh, iron arm over here, all kinds of uh, custom parts. Uh, as well as the uh, custom coupling that goes into um, Medi Collector Proton Wand and inside is a uh, jack that goes basically cable that goes all the way from the soundboard in here and you plug it in right into if I can focus right into there right here and you plug it in and then you nicely apply the coupling so let me actually, because right now I'm using only one hand, of course. So let me show you. Okay, so here is the jack. So I'll pull it out a little bit and I plug it in the proton wand right there. And then you simply push this one push this one over there on the top which I again have to put my camera down bear with me all right so as you can see it's beautifully coupled looks like it's made for each other so this is this one is actually uh, 3d printed I didn't print it out but somebody on eBay did so awesome now the proton pack has a V Dixie hook or whatever you want to call it, V hook, Dixie hook over here plate that I applied to it. And same thing is of course matched with original, this one is original Medi Collector or V hook on it. I didn't replace that one. So let me put it on. Again, I have to put the camera down. And So, I'm holding it with one hand. Here you can see Proton Pack together with 
uh, neutrino wand nicely put together now everything is nicely attached to a Alice harness as you can see and this is the newest version I believe 2.0 uh, which is very nice custom brackets were applied so you can nicely uh, wear it appropriately uh, as well as bumper that I applied on and uh, so that's the that's the um, that's the attachment everything is adjustable you can adjust these straps this waistband as well you can everything is Attachable. Now, how do you power it on? Well, right there, the original um, Spirit Halloween had battery compartment right there, and I left it the way it was. But now, if you want to replace the batteries, you obviously have to uh, unscrew a couple screws, remove it, and replace the batteries. But I can tell you, I have batteries in. Uh, for a year now and uh, it still works perfectly fine batteries are perfectly fine uh, it runs on a double a batteries uh, if I'm not mistaken uh, well the voltage is between 12 uh, 9 and 12 volts so anything between is fine uh, I believe I'm running on eight double A's or something like that so I would have to check it but um, okay to start it up what you can do is again on the one hand hopefully nothing will fall on me but over here when you unvelcro this part i custom designed the inside to nicely uh, set the battery compartment there and this is again it's a different battery compartment because the one that came with spirit halloween can hold only two batteries this one is made for eight I believe so there's on and off you simply slide it to on and leave it like it is because everything else will be powered with a neutrino wand and amplified as well all right so now that everything is uh, attached um, the button the power button on a proton pack is on so let's power the neutrino wand and that will uh, power the proton pack as well so let's let's do that mm -hmm. all right so we have lights running and everything is customizable the spirit light uh, speed as well as the speed of the cyclotron lights over there as well everything is customizable the the uh, volume the randomness of the sounds everything is uh, adjustable inside by taking the back, back plate off simply very easy to do all right so let's demonstrate the um action sounds so okay so here's the fire we have everything on okay extend the wand all right and we have a hum again and I don't have it hooked up but there is the Ghostbuster theme song uh, on the soundboard so it can be played it can be attached and uh, it can be played as well as I said you can attach simply plug in if you have mp3 player or uh, phone or whatever you can uh, run small cable into the um, little outlet that is inside a, a soundboard right there and you can simply plug it in and play your music along with the sounds as well so that's very cool I don't have it set up because uh, I was never thinking I'm gonna need it or not so I 
and I actually built this one last year for the last year's uh, Halloween uh, my son was wearing it for one uh, night basically and then it was nicely hidden and stowed in the closet so it's basically the way I made it it's everything no dents no scratches no nothing it's perfect it's excellent so now it also has a uh, overheating uh, feature sounds uh, obviously it doesn't have actual heatsink uh, so uh, let's play that now if you hold the fire button long enough it'll activate the overheat protection uh, so let's listen to that And there's the hum again so very cool as you can see and um, it is a contest winner uh, this particular um, pack won a local contest so <laughs> there you go very nicely done and very nicely uh, put together so and you can power it all off simply by turning off the neutrino one I turned off the neutrino wand and then we turn off the main switch and then we'll power off the proton pack as well very cool so that's that's that now very nicely done very nicely put together so if you have any questions don't hesitate to ask me I'll do my best to answer it and thanks for watching